Now let's go back to the news that we were getting you that clashes have erupted between college students and the police in Pulwama. We've got the visuals on the screen as well. Now how the college students had displayed earlier the poster of Buran Vani, the terrorist who was killed by security forces last year. These are India Today exclusive visuals from the spot where you can see that security forces have also surrounded the college when students started stone pelting at the security forces. After some time, students came out of college. They were joined by other stone pelters in town. They started pelting stones at police vehicles. Shopkeepers have shut down their shops at complete halt of activity in the uh, spot as well. Police resorted to tear gas shelling to control the crowd. Right now, situation remains tense. The first visuals from Pulbama outside the college as well, while Buranwani's posters were on display. Remember, it's coming at a time we have seen Kashmir and West. Uh, India Today's executive editor, Gaurav Savant, is joining us on the story. Gaurav, what more details are you getting? So after the administration closed down the school uh, when Burhanwani posters were put up uh, at the Pulwama Degree College, the students then came out of the streets uh, and they've, uh, they're showing Islamic State uh, flags and banners. Uh, all of this, uh, remember, cannot be done suddenly. Uh, this is indicative of the fact that they came prepared. They came prepared to protest. But the moment the police ensured that they could not uh, protest either on the streets or even at the college, there are pitched battles uh, uh, in some lanes and by lanes. But from what uh, the Jammu and Kashmir police tell us, that this will no longer be permitted and rule of law will henceforth be strictly enforced, even if that means taking stringent action against those who wave Islamic State flags and uh, uh, you know try and take on the uh, police through stone pelting. Absolutely, Gaurav, and it's coming at a time where you have the Home Minister who's discussing the Jammu and Kashmir situation in a high-level meeting as well. Once again, an attempt to provoke uh, in the valley. Now, we do understand that park agents have been trying to brainwash and radicalize youths in the valley, and this time they've taken it a step ahead by brandishing these posters in the college as well. Complete uh, chaos that we're witnessing. What are you hearing from your sources? How does the government, both center and state, plan to control the situation? At this point of time, the message from the center is very clear. The message from the center is ensure rule of law prevails. Unless there is rule of law, there cannot be dialogue. As far as the state government is concerned, uh, they appear to be, uh, you know, vacillating between taking hard action against uh, the perpetrators and especially those who are masterminding these operations. Look, these are only students who are being misled. But behind these students are a group of uh, handlers some of them have been identified and yet there is no action against them and that is something that the Mehuba Mufti BJP government in Kashmir okay. need to explain. All right, be with me Gaurav. We also have Ashraf who is joining us on the story. Ashraf, take us through what's the situation on the ground right now. Have uh, the security forces been able to stem the chaos that was seen outside the Pulwama College? Davina, basically, absolutely, there is a, a chaos across the uh, Pulwama town. The visuals are uh, witness of it all, what is happening on the ground. We have seen not only the clashes between the police and the students in the uh, Pulwama town, but even uh, after uh, the uh, hoisting the Pakistani flag few days back today, the students of the college with uh, stone pelters have uh, dared to uh, not only uh, display the poster of the uh, uh, Hezbollah commander, Burhanwani, but even the Pakistani flag once again on the administrative block of the degree college and then also the ISIS flag uh, on the same premises. Then these students went out in the large number uh, with uh, stone pelters in the town and then uh, pelted stones on the uh, police. You can see in the visuals which are exclusively with the India today and we have uh, got from the Pulwama and still clashes going on there. The uh, uh, young uh, boys from different schools gathering there and chasing the police vehicles as well as the uh, policemen and very tough time for the security agencies. We have seen on 25th of April when the whole uh, this uh, episode started from the same degree college when there were clashes between police and the uh, students. Then yes, 50, yes, more than 50 yes. students got injured in that clash which escalated from Pulwama to other parts of the valley. Uh, that is why the police is uh, uh, taking a lot of restraint. They did not want to... Uh, but, but uh, Ashraf, I also to want to point out here. And, uh, Ashraf, I also want to point out here uh, with 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 students displaying, uh, with students this poster, 
ISIS flag as well. It's coming at a very critical time. You have the Turkish president who is visiting India, who has already espoused a multilateral dialogue between India and Pakistan. He is also offered to uh, also negotiate, and India has rebuffed all those attempts. And it could be another park ploy to ensure that international attention is uh, focused on Kashmir as well. Thanks for joining us.